Hi friends, welcome to this video. Myself Avinash Kumar, a works with CAD Man software for Ubuntu. So today in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between the hybrid and non-hybrid modeling in CAD AB5. So we will see the details. So when we go to a new part, new part design, here we can see, we can see that one uh, dialog box will come up. Here an option is there to enable hybrid design. Suppose we are enabling the hybrid design, we can just click like this and G OK. So now our part what we are creating will be enabled hybrid design. Our part is a hybrid design part. So we'll see how it works. So if you go here and uh, now I'm creating a sketch. Simply I'm just drawing a rectangle and uh, adding applying a pad definition. So you can see that all the uh, history will get uh, saved in the part body. So suppose I am uh, once again I am creating one one more sketch. Now I am creating a spline. So this time I am just switching to a surface workbench or a generated shape design workbench. So now I am uh, creating some uh, surface. So I am going to an extrude option and creating a surface. Here you can see that even though for the uh, part feature as well as the surface feature is get added in under the same part body. So this is the advantage of enabling the hybrid workbench. So we will see the difference how it is not enabled. So I will I am going to a new part design. New part. Here now I am not checking this thing on. Just unchecking it, giving OK. So here same thing I am doing it here. So I am uh, going to draw a rectangle and uh, set the workbench. I am going to a pad option. Again I am going here and drawing a sketch. So this time also I am drawing a spline. Same way I am uh, switching to a surface workbench or generated shape design workbench. So then I am trying to create a extrude. So I am giving the value give OK. Now we can see that so the surface feature is get added into a new geometric set. So we are not created any geometric set. Automatically geometric set will create and it will switch uh, all the surface feature will get saved into this particular geometric set. So this is the difference between a hybrid design and non-hybrid. So non-hybrid surface features will get added in a geometric set and solid features will get added into the part bodies. Or if we, if we want we can import multiple part bodies also. So this is the case. So now suppose another thing you might have noticed that when uh, sometimes you this is you can see that part body having a reference some gear kind of symbol is there. So normally it will be green. So sometimes you might have seen that uh, it will be in yellow color or it may be in gray color. So I'll show you how this happens. So now this is a actually non-hybrid body. Understood. So this is a non-hybrid uh, part. So suppose I we can I, uh, we can enable the hybrid by this options tools options if you can go to the infrastructure and part infrastructure and part document there is an option for hybrid design so here actually this is a non hybrid body so since it is unchecked if we can check it and make this part as a hybrid so now uh, we are trying to make convert it, this non hybrid part into a hybrid click here apply so you can see that so green color has changed to gray color so it shows that this is actually a uh, non-hybrid part. Now we have changed the mode into a hybrid. That's why it is looking like a yellow color, a gray color. So now we go to the first part. So this part uh, actually, this is actually a hybrid part. So we have started with hybrid part. All the features will get saved into the part body. We have seen that. So in this condition, now if I go to tools option, and if I try to, now you can see it is enabled. So now I am disabling it. So this is a hybrid part and I am I'm going to disabling it. Just uncheck, click OK. You can see that the green has changed to yellow color. So this means that it was an hybrid part, but now we are working in a non-hybrid mode. So this is the difference between a hybrid and non-hybrid mode. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.